Demonstrated here is Motorola's end-to-end -end video head-end technology. Starting from the top of the rack, you can see an IRD taking the satellite content off the air, ready for processing for the rest of the demonstrations on our booth here at the show. Moving down the rack, the next item is the AGB240. This is an ASI to IP converter, causing a lot of interest here. It allows us to take ASI inputs from legacy IRD equipment and convert them to IP in a gigabit ethernet multiplex, passing onwards to the subsequent processing steps in the head end. Moving now further, we have our very widely deployed cherry picker products, the DM6400 and the Cat1000. The roles of these devices is to accept and create multiplexes for the onward processing and distribution of the content and to support the creation of the channel lineup that needs to be deployed in the operator's network. The content that's being created out of the cherry pickers is then passed on to the next set of items, which is our cable processing equipment. The Cable Vista unit takes IP input from a digital head end and converts it into the analog domain so that cable operators can continue to support their existing analog subscribers of their new digital head end. Next we have Motorola's Apex family of products, our DVB-C edge cram devices, very high density, fully redundant edge cram processing for cable operators. In the lower rack, what you can see is Motorola's encoding technology. You can see our current generation 4100 and 5100 platforms, as well as our next generation 6000 series. Introduced in the 6000 series is patented technology from Motorola called PVP, Perceptual Video Processing. PVP provides a pre-filter of the content before the encoding step based on our patented research into how the human uh, visual system understands and appreciates detail in a moving image. PVP provides the focus for the encoding technology, allowing the encoder to provide the resources onto the areas of the image that are most important and to put less resources onto the background, for example, where the human eye does not perceive as much detail. This allows us to reach some very low bit rates for very high definition content. Over on this side is an example of the kind of detail and bit rate we can actually achieve with our next generation encoding platform. On the left-hand screen, you can see variable bitrate content coming straight off the satellite between 10 and 15 megabits per second and averaging around 12. On the right-hand screen, you can see the encoded image through the Motorola SE6000 encoder where we're achieving an almost identical level of quality at only 6 megabits per second, putting HD content distribution into the reach of many more service providers and operators.